So, Ryzen 9 3900. Just found out there is a low, if you can see it right there to the bottom right, a low to high switch. And there's nothing in the documentation other than these ports for the uh, RGB LED lighting on the cooler. So, I found out the low to high sets the uh, minimum, max, whatever, maximum allowable RPM on the fan. It comes to fall, it looks like it's set to low. So what I did, I shut down the uh, computer here and I want to set that to high because it is mining uh, Raptorium, it probably gets hot. I have not been monitoring the temperatures, I'm gonna do that. Uh, and I'm gonna go into the BIOS and I'll show you that. I'm gonna set the fan speeds to maximum just to make sure I have these fans running as needed to keep these things cool. Uh, so that switch is kind of a pain to get to. It's it's kind of recessed a little bit. So I'm going to use a little uh, like a little baby screwdriver just to get in there and switch it to high. And I'm going to do that two hands because I don't want to mess this up. It's just this this GPU is massive. The 37Ti it's just blocking access to it. So I'm going to do that and then I'll show you the BIOS fan settings for the MSI uh, X470 if I can get to it. Uh, standby. So this was a pain to get to. Just had to get right. I'm trying to do this one-handed <laughs> without touching anything. Right here and just slide that puppy to the right. It, yeah, you need a you need a tool. You need a tool or something to do it. Hit F11. There we go. So I'm gonna enter setup. Blammo. All right, MSI Gaming Plus. I go over to Easy Mode's the best way to do this one. And then you have Fan Info. I got a little bit of glare. Fan Info. Over here to the wheel. This right here, right there. Settings. All full speed. This will do all the fans on your motherboard. I have these uh, other cooling fans and they have LEDs in them and they only light up if I have all full speed. So I do that, exit out, and that's all I'm gonna touch here. So I am, oh, I signed out, I am running CSM yet because I didn't make a UEFI boot drive, but if I ever put six GPUs on this card, I'm gonna have to disable this CSM uh, compatibility support module and just boot UEFI. When you go UEFI, you're only going to see the UEFI devices up here. So that's why I have the CSM yet, because I have the old master boot records. So that's all I'm doing. Fan info max. Turn the switch on max here. And that should allow it to uh, spin up as required. Here's the fan speed 34. It's like 3452 right now. CPU core temperature 36, okay. And again, I'm sorry, I did not measure the temperature at time of uh, Raptorian mining. I will do that after I get this rebooted and everything's spun up. All right, let's do so it. check the CPU temperature, I thought you could use ZPU-Z. It does not show uh, CPU temps. And I thought maybe task monitor because sometimes on the GPUs it shows information like that. Nope, not, nothing on the built-in Windows task. So I had to download Hardware Info 64 and just to get the sensor status of the CPU. And here you can see there's nothing running. So 35, 35 Celsius. So I'm glad I found out about that fan setting and reminded me to set my BIOS to max fan because here's another Ryzen 9 running. It's running pretty hot. I got to adjust this right away. It's in the red. Um, that's not good. This is the computer, the motherboard, with the Ryzen 9 3100 that I just turned the fan switch on the cooler from low to high, and it's at 69.3. So big difference, and it's CPU mining and GPU mining right now. So big difference, I gotta go to the other one and get that set, and we're gonna see if we can get that down from 98. Holy crap, it's good to learn stuff because see, sometimes you don't know what you don't know, and I never even noticed that little switch on that thing. And it's not even in the little manuals they give you. So, good to know. Lessons learned. Let's go. So, 69. Holding there.
Okay, this is the Ryzen 9 3900X motherboard. The second one it had 98 Celsius in the red. Oh my God. And uh, I rebooted, turned the fan on high. So we're sitting at 47 Celsius doing nothing. Okay, so this is the first Ryzen 9 motherboard I switched out. It's been running CPU miner for about an hour. And we're at 74.3, average of 69.70 and a spike of 82.3 that's with full fans and the high setting on the actual cooler on the CPU okay this is the second Ryzen 9 motherboard I switched out I turned the uh, cooler fan to high the switch went into BIOS and set fans to run full and we're running CPU miner and GPU mining as well same as the other one and we are at 82.5 average 75 a little bit hotter almost like eight degrees hotter than the uh, the previous one so I'm gonna watch this one and I'm gonna stop CPU miner once uh, the the uh, CPU mining once and see if it actually drops that temperature down uh, we can do it right now let's just do it right now control C so we're at 78 Yep, look at it drop. See, it, you turn off the CPU miner. It definitely drops right back down. Let's spin this up again. Let's spin up CPU miner. And let's watch the temperatures. Yep, they're going 75. CPU miner spun up. 76 there it goes 77 and the other one is holding at 71 71 is the other one at the current and it's running CPU and GPU so it's holding at 71 this one is it's up oh, it's gonna 79.9 I up oh, it broke 80 so we are running definitely eight to nine. Yeah, now 10, 10 hotter. I'm glad I checked. God, I'm glad I saw someone mention that, turn that switch on high, because that was at 90 degrees. I was like, what the heck? You just don't know what you don't know, right? That's why it's good to always keep learning, right? Good job. All right, I'll talk to you guys later on that. Okay, the first rig is holding at 71.6, 71.8. This rig is sitting outside of the grow tent. So that could be a big issue here. This one is at 82.5. He is in the grow tent. It may not be uh, wise to have a CPU mining rig in a grow tent with GPUs. <laughs> I just really think it, yeah, it's affecting it. We're dropping out 81.6, 81.4. 80.3. Yeah, that's what's going on. Oh, jeez. So I got to get that. I got to think about that. Do I pull that rig out? Yeah, look at it drop. I'm blowing a fan right on it. 78. That's the problem. Okay, I thought maybe I had bad bad heat sink or I didn't put it in right you know install it right I didn't put the paste on right I, you know what I mean all that stuff goes through your mind you, you screwed it up somehow so really it's just a heat issue in that grow tent for CPU mining oh so now I got to think about what to do 77 look at that huge difference all right that's the problem guys CPU mining in a grow tent may not be a good mix <laughs> Because at least the GPUs will stay about 75 Celsius and below. Uh, this, the CPUs, hmm, getting up a 90 in the red zone. There, see 91.3, not good. So, identified the problem. Now I got to figure out a solution. Pull that rig out, but then I'll heat up the room. Oh, it's a tough one. You almost need. Oh man, it's a tough one. You almost need to split them out. CPU motherboards for CPU mining and then put the lower CPUs on the GPU rigs. Again, it's a heat issue. So the heat problem always comes back to bite you. Oh, dilemmas. I don't want to put a fan right on it in the heat tent. That's 
I don't know, might uh, mess up the air pressure, the, the negative pressure in the tent. Here we're down at 76. All right, I got to think about this. All right, I'm back. So what I did to get these temperatures down, remember that CPU Ryzen 9 3900X was cooking? Uh, I decided to pull that rig out of the grow tent. And then I had my original rig, which had five GPUs on it. It's an old 2013 gaming PC I built. So I took that stuck in another one to four splitter, riser splitter, PCIe splitter. And I put the, the third GPU that was on here, I put it 1660 Super on the original rack. So now that's a six GPU rig with an old 2013 Asus Rock motherboard. The puppy came right up, recognized all six. That Asus thing from 2013 is rock solid. That's the go-to board, man. They should just go back in time and keep making those things. And that's an old Intel processor from 2013 as well. Over here, I got this 63080 Ti's. I had to get that temperature down on that expensive Ryzen CPU, which is right there. I kind of put this fan on top. I don't know. Just It's my indicator that I have the fan speed in the BIOS set to high. And we'll blow some air down into the into the heat sink as well. I don't know. We are holding at 74.5 and we're CPU mining. Ooh, what a pain in the butt. That took about an hour or so. I had to move this out. I had to pull that case apart. I took the back cover off. So now it's really is kind of a airflow is better and it's not blocking the airflow in the tent if you can hear me through the noise. I took the back cover off that tower case that, uh, Oh my God, ATX case. So now it's just the motherboard air, almost like air, free, free air, right? Get, keep the air circulating. That's the goal. So that's good. I'm happy. I don't know if you can see it. You can't really see in there. I got the two. Oh, you can't really see. Hold on a sec. That's why you got the spotlight. Got to have a spotlight. So you got the two blue cards back there. One to four splitters. This ASRock motherboard is rock solid. I love it, man. Made it so easy. It came right up. I'm thinking... I'm not even going to plug an HDMI cable in. I just went remote Chrome desktop into it. Bam! Came right up. Um, there we go. I just jury rigged everything to get it up and running. Because uh, every time is every every minute is down, man. I'm losing pennies, losing coin, losing crypto. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. All right, so I'm happy with this now. I got my six. I got my six. I'm keeping my rigs at six. It's manageable, and I'm not worried about anything, man. Six is good six and then i got my ryzen 9 out here and she is at 73.5 holding makes me happy instead of 90 in the red the goal was to get this thing cpu this ryzen out and i did it. i'm happy with that this these two won't generate too much heat for now and i think what i'm gonna do is for this rig as it grows and gets more cards i'm either gonna swap out this motherboard or the CPU for an old, old uh, a Ryzen 5 and just make anything that's in the grow tent not CPU mine <laughs> I don't know because I think the heat's too much 